Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be delving deeper into cell statements. Now we can use regular expressions and the ability to stop at first match to give us more control, especially with complex scenes. Uh, I've created a sphere using a primitive create node. Then I've used the hierarchy copy node to copy this a thousand times. And I want you to imagine that this is a crowd cache and it's bringing in a thousand agents and we want to isolate agents 300 to 800 using a cell statement. Now, how can we do that? So first of all, I'm going to create a cell scratch pad. Now, this allows me to test cell statements on the current scene graph. And I'm going to add in a custom. And we're going to go to root world geo. And then we're going to try and select those agents. So you might think you'd do something like this. And that would select everything that is sphere zero three and then two more characters. And that'll select all of our three hundreds. And then you would copy that and do the same thing again for four. Uh, etc etc. As you can imagine, when you're doing a lot, it's going to uh, end up being quite tedious. So is there another way? There is. What we're going to do is use uh, regular expressions or regex. Uh, regex is a powerful way of using search patterns on your text, uh, which gives you a lot more flexibility in your searches. So how do we do that? Uh, we're going to use an open bracket and we're going to target the attribute of name. And then rather than using the usual equals equals to say the name equal is equivalent to this, we're going to use regex. And to do that, we use tilde equals instead. Once we use tilde equals, it knows that this is going to be a regular expression and it will evaluate that. And then what we can do is say sphere zero and then anything that is from three to eight close bracket and that is it let's run this instead there you go we've now selected 600 locations very simple with cell expression here okay uh now let's have a look at a real scene and see some of the ways that we can use this as well. So over here, I'm going to select this and load up my scene. Now, uh, you can imagine when we're looking at uh, the name, there'll be a lot of scenarios where we have uh, different naming conventions. So for example, if we're looking at glass, it could be lowercase g for glass and then uppercase g for glass. And that can make things um, quite tricky and your cell statement very long, uh, but we can use regex instead to make it simpler. So let's first of all, uh, start with something more traditional uh, and then we'll transfer that into regex like we've done before. Okay, so let's say we're searching all the way through our scene. We're looking for anything uh, that is a window. So let me just expand out my scene. Idea of what this is. We've got this house and we've got some windows that we'd like to isolate. Um, now, this scene is uh, created by a Portuguese studio, so we're going to use the Portuguese word for window, uh, which is janela. Uh, so we would do janela. That's going to find all of our windows. Okay. And you'll notice that it's also selected the wall. So if I select one of these walls, uh, you'll see it's uh, got Janela in the name, but it's got uh, Parid in the wall in the name as well, which means wall. So let's exclude the walls. So I'm just going to copy this and then change it to. So we're no longer selecting the wall. 
and then um, let's have a look at this flower bed. Now, this has uh, Janella in the name, but it's a capital J, and this happens all the time with naming conventions, and you can expect that. So uh, we need to also get it with a uppercase J. So we're going to copy this and choose that. And now we're selecting the flower bed as well. So we have all of our windows. Good times. Now let's say on top of that, we also want to select everything that is glass in the scene. Okay, now um, the Portuguese for glass is vidro. Um, so we're going to add that in. And again, we're going to have uh, it if it's lowercase or uppercase. And just to vidro. and then also what i notice in this scene is the main character um, he's wearing glasses and that is actually called glasses and we want to target those as well so let's do this uh, glasses just glass and G as well. Okay, now let's collect all of this. And now you notice that it's picking up uh, our materials that have got glass in the name. So let's exclude that. So when we're getting the glass, we have to say at type does not equal material. I'm just going to copy that and do that on the other. Glass. I should make this bigger. So, okay, and let's collect this, and then let's have a look inside my scene. We're collecting the glass on the frame here. Just going to select some of this so we can have a look at our scene a bit easier. Yes, and yeah, we're collecting uh, the windows, and we've got uh, the main character Jow's glasses as well. I'll just uh, click on this and see uh, we've got glasses here lowercase and we've got glasses here uppercase so again it's another case uh, where you have different cases so how can we make this uh, all as one regex so let's um, add another custom and let's do that Okay, so we're going to look for the name is uh, builder equal to for regex and want the open bracket lowercase j uppercase j Noah or lowercase g uppercase g class or Lowercase v, uppercase v, withdraw. And type is not equal material and not name. Regex Parid Wall. Okay. So you can see that this is a lot shorter than this. And uh, as you can imagine, as you get things more complex, where you're looking for a lot of different things, that uh, this is a lot simpler. And let's just check that this is working. There you go. We're selecting the windows, we're selecting the glass, and we're selecting the glasses. Okay, um, now the other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, stopping at the first instance. So uh, let's do another custom. And let's say we wanted to uh, look at the components. So generally uh, in a scene, 
the way it would be set up is you have like your assembly your top level building say say for example this is a house that would be your assembly It'd be filled with components and each of those components would be where um, things come in say for example the look file the variants from usd um, textures those kind of things and um, what you would often do is just need to target that area and do something uh, on it so um, let's say for example you wanted to look at the variants uh, option that comes in with usd so what we could do is do a uh, search through all of the uh, locations under geometry and see if it has an attribute of uh, info.usd.variants okay okay so has attribute info usd variants let's find anything that has variant options um let's just actually collect all this and research that's easier to find the ones it locates so our uh, character jow has variants so you can see here and shirt types that you can choose and our tv um, here has uh, variants of different colors for the light of the tv okay now um when you do this root world geo slash dash star it's going to look at every single location um but let's optimize this a bit by only looking um, at components so if we get to a component and it doesn't have it then don't keep going further down instead just move on to the next branch so the way we do that is before the asterisk uh, we have at type is equal to component so all that will do is stop at the first instance of component does it have this attribute and if so um, then that'll be a match and this means it will not continue down um, at any more uh, than the component level so it'll stop here so let's do that again just to show that it's working and it's selecting these now i'm just going to if i change this to type component yeah okay uh, i'll just get rid of uh, the first one just for a sec and i search now and it selects all the components i'm going to show you here with, with the uh, environment house group we have this environment house as a component and inside there it contains components uh, and i just want to show that if i do this it's going to stop at this first component here and then not continue down and find these other ones okay so as you can see these uh components underneath this component are being selected now normally uh when i've worked at studios it's had it so that anything that's a component of component is called a subcomponent, and it wouldn't have this so it would be legitimate to stop the first component um, but that's just uh, showing you that this is actually working and stopping here and not continuing and finding these. Okay, hope that's helpful.